I'm heading off tomorrow from Burham Heads. My wife, who's a teacher, has been up for the last two weeks and we've been very happy going into Harvey Bay and just got up. I'm in Burham Heads. It's now uh, quarter to seven now and uh, the sun's well and truly up but it's bloody freezing here because my uh, chain's rusty. I'm just in a pair of underpants at the moment and once I've got it up I'll uh, change my underpants and uh, get to dressed a bit better. So there we are, we're going to go out through the channel which is through there and the, the sun is well and truly up. Looking back into Burham Heads coming on round basically we're in the mouth of the river now and then we've got a long sang bank to go along all the way out, which is about a mile from here. Past the entrance beacon, and as you can see, it's uh, quite a long way out from uh, where I was anchored at, uh, in the moorings. Well, we've been going now uh, quarter to ten, so we've been going two hours now. It's very cold and uh, I'm heading for Bundaberg I think. I've got one boat behind over here. He's going, uh, he's obviously coming to Bundaberg as well. He's about a good hour and a half behind me. And there's one boat in front which I haven't seen. Since I left uh, Burham Heads, he left about half an hour before me. This is what you see when you uh, first thing you see is this kind of hill as you're coming towards Bundaberg. I'm looking back where we've come from. And it doesn't matter where you are at the moment, it's, if it's inside or out, it's bloody cold. Oh, we're pleased to get to Bundaberg. But then I've got to get up in the morning again at bloody four o'clock, probably to uh, carry on. It's now 2.30. And we're coming into the Burnett River. It's been a cold day. I'm in the duck hole. Just caught the sun going down over there. It's quite a nice boat ramp there. And I've caught up with Jamie and Ning. They're in here. And another little boat and that is the entrance over there and uh, I'm gonna leave tomorrow at about five in the morning it's quarter past four in the morning and I'm heading north hopefully to 1770 uh, it's about 50 miles so 50 times 5 that's 10 hours but there's not going to be much wind today, so I'd like and uh, so I'd like to set off and make sure I try and get there in daylight. I've just checked the engine, which is which are here. This is how I do my engine thing. So basically, you put the engine hours down, barren heads, uh, holiday with Doreen, and then you've got the gearbox, fan belt, tank, and engine oil. I've been going since 4.30 this morning and we're heading towards Lady Musgrave. I've only just turned the engine off uh, 
put the sails on at uh, first light. But we're heading along all right, really, five knots, breeze behind us, can't complain. And that's what it's like behind. And the autopilot's uh, working quite well at the moment. Just hope the rain holds off because I've got to put the other one on if it starts to rain because this one's not very waterproof. Well, I've got my life jacket, I've got my E-perv here. Personal one anyway. I to fall over the side. But everything's going pretty well today. I was going to 1770, but uh, it seems this is the wind for Lady Musgrave. Well, Bundaberg is back there about 30 nautical miles now. I'm very relieved uh, we're going along quite well. We're going goose winged or wing on wing. And this is looking forward over the dinghy. Somewhere up in front is Lady Musgrave. But we won't see it till about four nautical miles off or something like that. It's, uh, you, nearly, you nearly fall over it before you see it. now two o'clock in the afternoon and uh, after leaving at five we're uh, about four miles off Lady Musgrave entrance there's Lady Musgrave over there and Fairfax I can't see yet might, there might be not many boats there because they reckon there's going to be a strong wind warning tomorrow. On the other side there, we've got Fairfax Island. It would look much better if we're in the sun. We're off the entrance to Lady Musgrave now. There's a National Park boy out here, so if you come in the dark, you should be able to pick that up. Coming round, and that's the entrance, straight there. That's directly how you'd go in. Further round, there's a National Park boat. And then there's all the boats there uh, anchored up on the moorings. There's the entrance. Can't really see me way in because of me dinghy, but uh, we'll manage. low tide. We're on a mooring at uh, Lady Musgrave. As you can see it's, it's absolutely low tide. It's uh, 0.2 here today which is fairly low. got me Suzuki engine, my new one. They tell me to run it for five minutes to warm the oil up. So I'm doing that. We've got a couple of boats in here. One's a research vessel down the back there. This one here looks to be uh, a British boat to me. Not quite sure. And over here we've got a, uh, a boat that came from Burham Heads, came into Bundaberg yes, uh, the day before yesterday and uh, set off from me by about uh, 20 minutes. Got here a lot earlier.
that is Fairfax Island it was used in the war as a bombing run and uh, at the moment uh, nobody can visit it to be honest and uh, this here is somebody's nice gentleman's yacht and there's the island done a complete panoramic view anyway we're off there for a walk now today My boat's the first one to the right hand side of the screen. This is just the coral. When you talk now, it's <laughs> wonderful. Uh, enjoy. Here I am, here I am, I've parked my dinghy here at low tide. Fair few people coming in now. And uh, it's absolutely beautiful here at the moment. You wouldn't get it much better than this. I haven't been off the boat all day today. It's been too uh, too choppy. I'd have got absolutely drenched. The sun's going down. The tides are also going down as well. There's the light on Lady Musgrave.